Welcome back scholars with our intervention video. Today's video is for April 16th for Mr. Star Wars Intervention Group. So if you are not supposed to be watching this video, you may exit now. Alrighty, so let's hop right into a group. So we're going to work with finding area of surfaces. So when we're finding area, it's like using arrays in a sense. How we use repeated addition, we could use multiplication, or we could simply count one by one, but that takes longer. And sometimes we didn't always have the cubes or X's or chips to count. So today you're going to see how arrays plays to the same effect as finding the area of a shape. So let's hop right into it. So number one, Keisha's rectangular tabletop is five feet long and three feet wide as shown. Okay, so I'm looking at her tabletop. How can Keisha use repeated addition to find the area of the tabletop? So that's simple. That's just like if we look at arrays. We're going to look at our rows and see how many is in each row. So that's counting with me. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. So we got five in each row, and we got three rows of five. So the repeated addition sentence we could use, we can either use three five times. Three plus three plus three plus three. That's three. But that's a little long. So we could also use 5 plus 5 plus 5 as well to get our total of the area. I'm going to go back and erase this because so we know what our, what our repeated addition sentence is equal to. That will equal area. Or we can do 5 plus 5 plus 5 equal the area okay so let's go to the next part how can Keisha use multiplication to find the area of the tabletop so that's simple we can think of our rows and columns how many rows of did we have so we had five rows of three or we could say we had three rows of sorry three rows of five so we can use either one of these multiplication sentences to find the area all right let's keep going so what is the area of Keisha's tabletop in square feet so we could take the route out of using each one of these that we created either the five plus five plus five, or three plus three plus three plus three plus three, or five times three, or three times five to find the total area. And I'm just gonna use the three times five. Okay, so three times five equals what? Good job, 15 square feet. So it's just like that. It's very simple. You're using what you know about arrays to find area. So you can use length times width or side length times side length. You may count them up if you want, if that is an option for you. Or you can use repeated addition. Got to remember though, repeated addition is very different from when we added the size. Because if you look right here, we can't add. Let me erase this real quick. We can't add 5 and then 5 and then 3, 3. Because if you look at it, we already used this one right here, this one, this one. And this one to go with the five. So it really wouldn't be five and three no more. 
because when you're finding the perimeter to ask, the only way that you can add the side lengths. When you're finding area, it's about what's inside. So you will have to do the five, five, and five to find the total area. Remember, perimeter and area are two different things when you're looking to solve. Two different things when you're looking to solve. Perimeter and area are two different things. So the next slide, you'll hop right into your independent practice today. That is all the guided practice I will do with you today. I will also share the answers with you. So you may pause the video as I go from question to question, and then I will show the answers last. All right, let's get ready. This will be question number one. Make sure you are taking your time when you're reading the question to understand exactly what they are asking you to do and find. Okay, this is question number two. Question number three. Question number four. All righty. On the next part, you will see the answer. So if you're not ready for the answers, you may stop the video right here. But I'm going to hop right into the answers, okay? This is my work I did for question number one. This is why I told you don't make the mistake of thinking of it like perimeter because B is the only one that will not work because when you're doing perimeter, you're adding the side, the length of the sides. But when you're finding the area, you're doing the total amount of the inside, not the outside. So you would uh, like I told you before, when we did the other one, I'm going to zoom in. Because they use 8, 8, 4, 4. But when you look at it, remember, this is already gone. That's gone. That is gone now. And that is gone. So it really would have been 8. And then you would have had 2. But you still got to think about all this right here. All the inside, because when you're doing perimeter, they don't count the inside. And that's where we get confused sometimes when we confuse area and perimeter when we're trying to find the total. Because so basically the eight and four will show you this. And then we would have left out all this right here in the middle. All this in the middle. We'll get left out if you use 8 plus 8 plus 4 plus 4. You see? And that's a lot left out. All right. I'm going to zoom back out. Okay. Going to number 2 now. Number 2 is where I just found the... Rows and columns. How many rows of did I have? I found my number of group and my size of group. And I just simply did multiplication. And that's where I found out C had the least, the smallest area because it had the least amount of squares. And it had 20. All right. Going to number three. Okay, so number three, this is where it was two parts. No squares in between. Like I told you, you would see this. So first I started. I had to find, I used my side length times side length. That's basically my rows and columns. So it's just without those squares. So if I zoom in, I just did 90, I mean 9. I did 9 times 20 at the top right here. And I got 180. 
and then I had to go find this part over here for the workshop because it says the garage and this is your workshop and I did 10 times 6 and I got 60 so then I had to add my two total areas together and I got a total area of 240 I got a total area of 240 square feet. Let me write that. All right. All right, moving right along now. This is uh, problem number four now. And same thing like with the other one, I had to find the total area of two separate sections and then add them together. This was section one, I had to find the total area of, and then I had to find the total area of down here for the grass. So if you didn't understand where Mr. Starf got the five yards for right here, it's because this side right here, it shows me from this top to this bottom is equal to five yards. So I know if this is five yards, in a rectangle, my size got a match, so this will be five yards as well. So I had I was able to use five times five, I got five yards times five yards, and I got 25 yards up here. And then down here, I see it was three yards and six yards, three, three yards long and six yards wide. So then I did three yards times six yards, I got 18 yards. Then I added my two total amount of yards together which led me to a total of 43 yards which was right here which was g and scholars that is it for today's intervention video i hope hopefully this helps you understand finding area a little bit better if not feel free to reach out to me on dojo with any questions or save them for monday for our zoom and as always, scholars, I hope that you enjoy the video and you are enjoying your extended vacation of learning at home.